Here we have graphing a rational function quadratic over linear. So graph the rational function and same kind of instructions as we've had previously. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first start by doing the vertical asymptote. Um, and that vertical asymptote you get by taking the denominator equal to zero. So I get two. And then the horizontal asymptote we get by comparing, and it could be a horizontal or not, but it just depends. Um, so since my degree of my numerator is two and the degree of my denominator is one, the top is bigger by just one. I actually don't have a horizontal asymptote. I have an oblique asymptote, okay? Which means I do have to do the long division to figure it out. So let's go ahead and do that here. So then x squared divided by 2x is going to give me a 1 half x. Or it would actually give me x over 2 which can be written as 1 half x. And then 1 half x times 2x is x squared. 1 half x times negative 4 is negative 2x. Then I have to change the sign. So those go away. I get negative 2x, bring down my next number. And then I have to do this negative 2x divided by this 2x. I get negative 1, negative 1 times that, negative 1 times that change the signs and this goes away and I get negative 6. Now you do ignore the remainder. The oblique asymptote is at y equals 1 half x minus 1. So I graph this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 it's going to be negative 1 and then up 1 and over 2 for the 1 half slope and so it will draw you pick the slanted dotted line and then you plot those two points and it will draw the slanted dotted line for you I forgot it needed to be dotted and then the vertical asymptote is over here at 2 And then I'm going to still make a table so I can get two points in each piece. So I need two points here, like 0 and 1, and two points here, like 3 and 4. And I'm going to plug them into that function. So let me see. x squared minus 4x minus 2 over 2x minus 4. I get 1 half or 0.5. When I plug in 1, I get 2.5. When I plug in 3, I get negative 2.5. And when I plug in 4, I get negative 0.5. So let's see what happens when I graph that. So then my graph, if I hit the graphing icon, it's going to end up looking like this. And then I'm done.